Well, my friends, my relatives and esteemed colleagues, oh, with flu, there is always happening the same problem of temporary loss of taste and smell. But in some people, this stays longer. Some say that they never fully recover from it. Well, what is causing this loss of taste and smell? These are our senses. And again, if we go back into the quantum field, we know that we have a processors and installed programs that will manifest uh, certain frequencies through our senses, through light or sense of smell, taste, pain, love, hate, those are all senses. So, what could happen that we lose a sense of smell and, and taste? Well, right away we think it's the taste buds, is the sensory nerves, and in our reality as we see it, in our uh, world of particles, of matter, uh, we can refer to it in this way. So, what could cause the sense not being projected could be build up of phlegm, build up of mucus. Simply, it blocks the transmission of these frequencies. But sometimes there could be other causes like inflammation. Caused inflammation, it changes right away all the parameters. It could be monkeying with the program. Now, can we do this? Yes, we can. Can it be achieved by certain frequencies? Most likely, because frequency is everything. Could this be caused by transmitting particular frequency through a sound machine or electromagnetic field? Most definitely. Because electromagnetism is one of the uh, most effective transmissions of frequency. Also can be sound, can be light. I know, for example, that you can be sensitive to certain thing once when you have been negatively affected by it. Once when I ate um, a steak in restaurant, I got violently ill and I did not, this is way before I start investigating this stuff. Well, not, well, it's just about the time when I have started investigating. And um, I did not know nearly as much as I know now. I was depending on antibiotic, which I did not have on a boat. And uh, I got so sick that I was banging my head on a, wooden wall of the boat because I didn't know what to do anymore. I was feeling I'm going to die. And uh, luckily at that time, you know, my wife had uh, vaginal suppository, antibiotic, and I just smashed it and drank it. And this stopped the problem. Now, what was the problem? 
at that time I thought, oh, I got some bacteria. That, yeah, well, it may have triggered it. But what makes the thing so bad is the detox process. Because you start eliminating a lot of your cellular toxin. And if you are very toxic, and obviously in those days I was. But what happens is that uh, the chemical, or we can call it pathogen, does not have to be uh, alive, could be chemical pathogen, was absorbed by the cells. This is what actually triggered the detox and the worsening of the situation. And cells will keep it uh, as a reminder, as a, in a toxic bank, uh, which, which they then later on check what is in the blood and if something similar comes, cells close down. And uh, what happens that I became so sensitive to beef that for a couple years I could not eat beef. It was getting less and less sensitive, but still, even after two years, I was quite sensitive. Until I cleanse on a cellular level, deep, deep cleanse, to eliminate everything that was preventing my resonation to be experience properly. I believe that the same thing happens also with the senses of smell and taste. If we get in touch with certain pathogen, and this pathogen, again, could be electromagnetic wave, sent through, um, sent through telephone. It could be also uh, another individual that is radiating this frequency and we pick it up and our cells then hold on to it. And um, this later on plays with our sensitivity. Now, if we cleanse properly on a cellular level, I believe that this is going to fix itself because you simply let all these toxic things get out of your cells and then the cell will vibrate correctly. We also think that the tissue can be damaged and if tissue gets damaged then the sense doesn't come back. Well, there is nothing in a body that cannot be and will not be repaired by the body if allowed to do so. And nothing can really repair itself if we are poisoning the body. So we have to stop poisoning it. And uh, we are slowly discovering what are the toxic elements in a food that we eat consume daily and uh, a lot of them have to do with plants because we are not supposed to eat plants no matter what somebody tries to tell me and convince me just my investigation just proves it to be this way most of our problems and diseases Toxicity comes from eating plants, especially eating them with a changed frequency, eating them cooked, heated. It's not just carbohydrate. We are not talking only about the glucose. We are talking about many phytotoxins, which plants have to protect themselves, not to be eaten, since they cannot run and hide. So they have to develop mechanism of protection.
you know, this affects us. But since we are also living in a very toxic environment now, made so deliberately by the cabal and those who want to keep us enslaved, then of course uh, there are many other ways they can do it. Uh, hopefully we are at the end of this toxic poisoning. It all points that we are going to physically see now what was happening this past few months or even year or two as the evil has been taken down and taken out. So time of disclosure is really something that I'm not good at because I was ready for this five, six years ago and it keeps dragging and dragging and dragging and I understand it's longer it takes, the smoother transition it will be. So all we need to do is patience. But as far as any problem with health, body is going to resolve it, but we need to cleanse. A simple trip across the Atlantic when I did it with a sailboat, uh, being in a, a away from civilization for 20 days, when I was approaching Europe, I could smell it way before I could see it. Uh, which, you know, was possible only because I was breathing very clean, pristine air for a while. And then any different fragrance, you can smell it. Same like if you are in a quiet place. I remember being on a lake in Croatia. Uh, at night and uh, fishing on little inflatable uh, across the lake, which was probably about, I would say 400 meters. And when we were coming back and purposely not with engine, rowing, it was quiet, it was beautiful, silent, quiet night. We could hear people talking in a tent on the shore, and we are still like 300 meters away. And they were not yelling, just talking lightly. It was amazing how sound travel and what you can hear when the noise dims down a bit. Same is with every sense. Same is happening with the taste, with the smell, as with the sound as with the sensitivity to light of our eyes, body always adjusts. But again, more commotion there is, the more difficult it is to really feel the details. It's with everything. This is why we have to be able to focus. And only where you focus, this is what you take in. And uh, this is uh, not to our benefit because we skip experiencing many things because we have to focus on particular thing. Otherwise, we can miss it. We, we can operate without focusing. So, people who lost sense of smell and taste, normally it comes back. But if it doesn't, or if it's taking too long, we can speed this up by cleansing. And again, we are talking here about deep cleansing or the cellular cleansing, which can only be achieved by forcing the cells into osmotic hydration. And um, 
This is not so easy because, again, many phytotoxins are preventing it. And this is why we accumulate the toxicity. And we cannot hydrate properly. Even if the blood is clean, the cells will not hydrate if there is some toxic element in there. And I mention often the most common toxins are the nicotine, caffeine, and um, alcohol and medicinal remedies of any kind, including very strong one, garlic. But not only garlic, there's plenty others which also will do the same thing. Uh, through experience of one of my friends, of family, when they only added spirulina and this stopped cellular cleansing. Something that people take like, oh, this is the best thing since, I don't know, the honey was discovered. Okay, so we don't understand things correctly. And to understand them better, we have to go to quantum, into the quantum field. We have to refer to frequencies and what could prevent the brain to either recognize them or to produce them. So, very often, we just, the brain just received them and instead of transmitting them, we may be having some kind of a thoughts bothered by some thoughts which have the same resonance. And instead of projecting them through our body, through senses, we are transmitting them. Could be some kind of a fear. Many, many different parameters we have to take in consideration. But the best way to start always is cellular cleanse. You cleanse on a cellular level, and then you will figure out if things don't get better, all right, something visits with frequency, so let's see, is there any other way that we are disturbing this field? I hope this makes sense to you. Uh, very often, or more or less, almost everybody who does the protocol uh, feels not only improvement, but healing. But again, we are still under attack. We are still bombarded with all kinds of toxins, including a weapon weapon of the electromagnetic frequencies. Not only scalar weapons, your telephone is a weapon. Get rid of it. Push it away. I use it only to make videos and then I shut it off. I use my laptop and it's on a wire. I don't have Wi-Fi running. To minimize the pollution. Of course, my neighbors have Wi-Fi, so there is no way to escape it. We'll do the best we can, but just hold the light just a little bit longer. We'll be out of the worst stuff. Thank you for being here. Till next time, love you all.